got the camera rolling there. All right, sir. Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm Colonel Chris Prince. Um, pilot from South Africa Air Force, joined in 1952. Qualified on the first in Harvard uh, Pilots course, which was quite a thing. Uh, and did the military academy course, but that interfered a bit because of my flying. <laughs> but then in New mind. It was it was a good time, and then uh, after that I became a flying instructor <coughs> on, on Harvard aircraft at flying at the uh, flying school at the Nutter. But uh, that was a good time. There were no other flying schools. It was only flying school at the Nutter. Mm. In nineteen. 56, they transferred me to uh, the Air Operational School Lagerman uh, on vampires so that I can instruct them on vampire aircraft. Jet, the vampire was the jet aircraft at that time. And uh, Lagerman uh, Air Operational School was the place where they prepare the people to go to the uh, further jet aircraft, like the Sabres etc. Now I was instructing there for four years. I did a lot of flying on the vampire aircraft but at that same time uh, the formation aerobatic team started flying, started uh, jet aerobatic flying started in 1954 but in 1957 I joined the team because one of the, the chaps in number four was transferred. So they asked me to, to join the uh, Bumbling B aerobatic team in 1957, which I then carried on with until 19, the end of 1959, beginning 50, uh, 1960, when all the members were transferred. I was transferred, the number two, uh, General Mike Muller was transferred, the leader, Van der Bosch, Captain Van der Bosch was transferred. And um, so Bumbling Bees came to an end as such. And then, uh, because of all my other uh, <coughs> flying at the Sabre Squadron, I was a member of the, the, the Cheetah uh, Aerobatic Team, the, 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 the Sabre Team. I was transferred to a place, Forty Squadron, which was a German state. Can you imagine German state? But it was a, civ a, a civil squadron with permanent force instructors. And because of all my aerobatic feelings and experience, I started a, a, a Harvard aerobatic team, the Cha Cha team. Then I was there for 11 months when they said they need me urgently at the doctor again. And I transferred me to Donata, uh, flying school in Donata. And um, there I started a Harvard team again. In 1965, they transferred, or they sent me to England to get to know the jet, uh, jet school uh, training, the jet training uh, on, on the English Prova aircraft. I had a visit there and then they transferred or sent me to, to Italy to go and have a look at their Machi aircraft, the, which was the beginning of the Impala aircraft. So I went there, but in the meantime I was still at the daughter. <coughs> and then suddenly, when I opened my eyes and beginning 1966, they transferred me to Lagerbad Vech as the chief flying instructor to develop and start the flying school on jet aircraft. Uh, and then the Impala started coming. I found that I fetched the, the first Impala, and I must mention that Impala 460. Because that was my airplane all my time that I was thinking of, of flying Impala aircraft. Anyway, um, then I started training the instructors that came from the Nutter on 
jet aircraft, the Impala aircraft, started training them. Uh, started writing all the, the uh, notes for the instructors, for the pupil pilots and all that. In 1968, the flying school, the first jet uh, training, fly tra pupil pilot training, started at the Lanobar on Impala aircraft. Um, which I was very, very pleased about. But in 1966, because I was uh, so much involved with aerobatics, formation aerobatics, I started, I, I felt that the Bumbling Bees team had to carry on. Uh, the Air Force needed that. So I, I started forming the formation aerobatic team. Uh, first of all, I asked for volunteers. Then I checked them all out and then I picked my team and I was very, very proud. Um, it was Fred Toy was my number two, Chris Hickson was my number three and Chris Hutton was my number four. Uh, we were flying as uh, bubbling bees first of all and then in 1967 Something happened along the line, which I don't want to mention, uh, and we thought the name must be changed so that we can transfer the name from Afrikaans to English, which we uh, then, after a long discussion and a lot of uh, thinking, uh, we found that the name Silver Falcons was the name because the Impala at that time was a silver aircraft and it was easily translated silver falca silver falcons anyway uh, that's how the silver falcon started and i try to promote that all the time to the public of south africa and to the head of the air force in 1968 i asked him to uh, acknowledge the Silver Falcons team as the team for South Africa, which he then agreed to. So in 1968, Silver Falcons became the aerobatic team for South Africa in comparison to the English team uh, and the French team, which I saw, the Italian team, which I saw. Uh, I was there with them. So it was a good time from then onwards. But I was also very, very fortunate after my time, time as chief flying instructor and building the flying school at Lagoa. Uh, I was transferred to Pretoria for two years, where I did the, the border uh, war and so on. I was OC of, of the, the Air Force on the border. And uh, when I came back, I had the most beautiful uh, signal to say, which I could tell my wife what a wonderful woman I had. She was she was always standing on my side. Um, and we were transferred to Lombard as, as officer commanding. And then I took over as officer commanding in 1970 for till 1974, end of 74. That was a good time for me to see. And in that time, when I came to Lombard, uh, there was the Solar Falcon team was going, but then suddenly the, the the leader of the team was transferred. So I took over as leader of the Solar Falcons again, which I did till the end of 73, 74. But then, due to fuel restrictions at that time, and the older people will probably understand what I'm talking about, uh, the Solar Falcons team quieted down for quite a while. And then end of seven, beginning 75, I was transferred, retired from the Air Force. Okay. So that is, that is epic. Thank you very much for, for that. A long bloody story. No, that's great. That's good. That's quality.